Properties of Rubber Rubber is a term applied to a wide variety of elastic substances which are obtained from a great number of trees, shrubs and vines. The rubber hydrocarbon itself is suspended or dispersed in a milky liquid latex which occurs in the inner bark of the branches and trunk of the rubber trees and to a lesser extent in the leaves and roots. The term rubber can be applied to the elastic, resilient, coherent solid obtained from the latex of many varieties of trees, plants and shrubs. Rubber is to the rubber manufacturer what flour is to the baker. It is a basic raw material to be modified and processed in thousands of ways to meet any requirement. It can be made to wear out quickly like an eraser or to withstand the roughest kind of abrasion as in a tire tread. It can stretch like a rubber band or be as inelastic as a bowling ball. It can be an electrical insulator or an electrical conductor. It can be soft and foamy as in a mattress or tough enough to put a notch on carbon steel as in a rubber bonding grinding wheel. The name may be applied to the material in its crude form or to compounds mixed with sulfur and other ingredients or to finished products. Of little commercial value in its crude form, rubber becomes one of the most valuable materials of our modern day-to-day -day existence when compounded and vulcanized. It is soluble in naphtha, carbon disulfide, carbon tetrachloride, turpentine, ether, gasoline, benzene and similar solvents. Among the more important physical properties of rubber are softness, toughness, elasticity, impermeability, adhesion, and electrical resistance. The outstanding property which distinguishes it most from all other materials, including the synthetic rubbers and the rubber-like materials, is that when repeatedly stretched too many times, its length it will come back to approximately to its original dimensions. Vulcanized rubber possesses widely varying characteristics of elasticity, softness, or hardness, depending on the amounts of sulfur and on other factors. In the vulcanized state, it is less affected by heat or cold than in the unvulcanized state. For commercial purposes, rubber can also be made highly resistant to abrasive wear, flexible or intensible, waterproof, relatively impermeable to gases, an electrical and heat insulator, resistant to the action of all, but are relatively few chemicals and with high frictional resistance on dry surface and low resistance on surfaces wet with water.